All right, Shalom. I want to first start off giving all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, the men that taught us this truth through the Spirit. And peace and blessings unto the elect of the nation of Israel. This is the brother Abadia from the GMS Houston camp, and I'm back with another lesson. And I'm going to try to make this quick. This is the basically the apology video that uh, the Sakari did, the leader of the Sakari being, uh, he go by the chief, I think chief priest, uh, Alazar, and also uh, Gorilla Hebrew. And, you know, they apologized, but what they were also doing was going in to apologize to saying that they offended the nation and they apologized, but they want to give the details on what actually all went down and I'm not here to go into breaking down this video or speaking on where they went um, all the things they went off on you know but I will uh, speak on really one thing in particular and I'm gonna let piece of this video uh, play and then I'll uh, go to the scriptures and give the uh, correct understanding of, you know, how we're supposed to keep the Passover, which the Passover and the Feast of Unleavened Bread is the same thing. It's different uh, titles. All right. It's one way you keep it. It's not you don't keep the Passover or the Feast of Unleavened Bread in sections, meaning one part of it, we we in this spirit and then another part of the Passover, we switch spirits, the spirit, you know, we're not serious. And then all of a sudden we marry and joy and, and jumping around and all this. All right, let's let the video play and I'll go to the scriptures. Standard rent out procedures are tended to, but we needed it from five because, of course, we're not having no late night Passover. Right. So. The concern that the venue had with us was, well, you know, even though y'all are giving us this, this money for this, how we make our money on a nightly basis in this club and we're shutting this club down for you guys. How we make our nightly me in this club is. By the way, you know, at the Passover, there shouldn't be nobody at the Passover that don't believe. I don't give a damn for what reason. Thus said, the, you know. Just uh, the example the apostle, I'm sorry, the, the Lord Yahweh showed us. If there's, if they don't believe in this truth on the same doctrine you on, they shouldn't be at the Passover. I don't. It don't matter if you rented a a, a, a venue, and that venue said, "Well, we have to have our staff there." Well, then you make step out on faith and you do something else. That's why we don't have them large Passovers. We keep it. Uh, small like the Lord did, you know, with small uh, uh, group, you know, but if you want to get into a big, big group, then make sure everybody that's you supposed to make sure everybody that's there are believers. And now these um, different Israelite camps, they have a, their Passover or their feast of unleavened bread, and they'll have people there that don't even believe or that just you know, may not even be seriously in the fate, you know, but I'm let this video continue. And the reason I'm saying that is because he said uh, a little bit before this that, or after this, I can't remember, that the only people that was there was the brothers, or like the, the ones that believed that was in the troop. They were not Sakari members that said that, and uh, the staff. The part of the staff which was those bottle girls. There shouldn't be no woman at the Passover. The Lord showed us that. Okay? But if you want to keep, you know, Passover with, hey, with your family, now that's on you. You know, we going to follow the example the Lord uh, showed us. Okay? Let's let this video play. Out of the bar. Brothers drink, I don't drink. But brothers drink. There's nothing wrong with drinking. The scripture said there's no uh, what few things better in life 
right? Roughly paraphrasing. Be merry to eat, drink, and be merry, right? So brothers drink. And, and, and after our solemn assembly, brothers plan to celebrate. So I said, listen, 10 o'clock, the solemn assembly. See, he said, after the solemn assembly, as he said that as if part of the Passover or the Feast of Unleavened Bread, it's a solemn assembly, and then it switches from a solemn assembly to a celebration. And that's not, the Passover is a solemn assembly, period. The Feast of Unleavened Bread is a solemn assembly, period. You don't switch from the spirit of seriousness, spirit, spiritual, then you start jumping around, being merry and all this. All right? Now, the word, I'm going to say this too. The word celebrate, it means to assemble, to give honor. All right? It means to assemble, to give honor. You can look it up. Well, Esau didn't put new speak on these words and, you know, you're not looking up these words and getting a proper understanding of them. Okay? And we're going to go into some more words. Celebrate don't mean to get together and, and jump and jump around and dance. Okay? And, and be merry. We're supposed to be assembling really to give uh, honor to Yahawashai, all right, for uh, giving us this truth that we may be delivered uh, from this new Egypt, which is America. Okay? That's why he told the disciples to drink. Uh, uh, we ought to follow that example to drink the uh, the wine where to eat the bread, the unleavened bread, it represent his body and uh, drink the wine which represent the blood of the new covenant. And through that, you know, which that means what? Getting into these scriptures that we may receive the, uh, the new covenant, which the only way you're going to get the new covenant, the first go around, meaning delivered the first time, and receive those uh, our perfect bodies where the, the law, statutes, and commandments can be programmed into or into our mind. But we got to get out of this sinful flesh, all right, so that we can keep the law, statutes, and commandments perfect. That's not going to happen until we are delivered. And then the children that's born in the kingdom, they're going to be born into perfection or the new, the new covenant. Let's let, let's let the video play. Assembly will be over. Y'all can open your bar up and then, you know, brothers will drink out of y'all bar so y'all can make y'all money for the night. Pay your staff, which you're telling me has to be there, etc. Security, the waitresses, etc. Cool. Right? That was the negotiation. So, because that was the negotiation, that was what our understanding was. So, you know, we opened the doors at 6. We started class at 7. We started our ceremony around 8. We were done by around 10. All the minors were to leave the, the building, the children, and then they would open the bar so people can, you know, they, you know, they could get their money and, and we can go from the, the solemn assembly aspect to the celebratory and festive aspect, which are all there in the scriptures. I want to make sure that's clear. Yes, you're supposed to keep a solemn assembly, but also... The fest it's called the Bible calls that a festival, so it's still a time to get festive. Okay, I want to make sure that's clear. See, and with and, and with, this is what I believe. You know, I'm not in his mind, and this may be what the these other Israelite groups believe. You know, is that when they uh? Because I'm gonna go and read read a scripture. Just give me a minute. They when they uh they look up the word. Feast and it, one of the definitions says festival, and they thinking they're applying the word festival in the sense of you know being merry, jumping around, uh, singing and dancing. They that they actually do a lot of the, these groups are into rapping and shit, you know. And that's not what the scriptures is talking about. Okay, so yes, it is a solemn assembly and it is a festival. We're gonna go into 
<laughs> these words. All right. So I'm done with that. Y'all heard it. He said. After they got done with the solemn assembly aspect of the Passover, then they went into the celebratory or the festive part of the Passover. And that's it's scripture. It's all in the scriptures. Well, it is in the scriptures. But you are uh, given the wrong understanding on what that's talking about. It's not talking about have a serious assembly, spiritual uh, assembly, and then start, you know, drinking and and uh drinking and partying and, and being merry. That's not what it's talking about. Let's go to Deuteronomy chapter 16 verse 16 and I'm going to pull it up. I think I have it. Uh right here. Yeah, Deuteronomy 16, 16. You can read the whole chapter, you know, but I'm going to just stick to this one verse. All I need is this one verse. Deuteronomy 16, 16. Three times in a year shall all thy males appear before the Lord, Yahweh, thy God, in the place which he shall choose, in the feast of unleavened bread, which is the Passover, and in the feast of weeks, and in the feast of tabernacles, and they shall not appear before the Lord, the Lord Yahweh, empty. Now let's look up this word feast. Now I'm assuming this is how they these groups, and I could be wrong, but how these groups are justifying all the partying and dancing and singing that that is happening at. The uh, what they at the Passover that they're keeping now, yeah, you can sing you know spiritual songs. The best way to probably do it is to sing the songs that's the songs in the scriptures, the songs which are, are songs because it tells us that, uh, yeah, during the Passover, Yahweh Shai and the disciples they sung uh, him. Or oh, if you want to play some some instrumental that that carries a positive energy because music gives off a, a vibration off a negative vibration or energy and positive vibration or energy okay so you may you can you know if you want to have some you know some good positive energy instrumental playing you know if you can do that you know uh like King David, what did he do? He used he played the heart to to rid uh King Saul of the, the them evil spirits, right? So music can carry good positive uh energy, right? So if you want to do that, you know, but it's supposed to be amongst the believers and y'all still in a in a solemn state of mind. Okay, it don't switch. You don't switch from a solemn uh, state of mind to now we about to start partying and being merry and all this type of stuff, jumping around. So let's get this word 